Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're looking at in this case is they're asking us to find the volume. So again, what we need to do to find the volume, <clears throat> what we need to do to find the volume is we need to find the area of the base. All right? Then once we find the area of the base, we multiply that by the height. So again, our formula, volume equals base times height, where B represents the area of the base. So we look at this base, and we see that the base is the same as the top, right? So those are the bases that we're going to use. And we need to find the area of this. So I take a look, and I say area equals pi r squared. Now remember, we need to find r, which is going to be our radius. Well, if the diameter is 6, r is going to be half of that, which will be 3. Does everybody follow me? All right, now I'm not going to compute that until I find the height. Now to find the height, we know that this distance right here is 6, and the distance from one corner to the next corner is 10. This is the diameter. Half, radius is only from the center to the edge. So it's to be half of that. Now, I need to be able to figure out the height. The only thing I know is the diagonal. So again, we have, and I know it shows it, we have, we have another triangle. And now we need to figure out this length. So when we have a right triangle and we need to figure out length and we have two sides, we can apply Pythagorean theorem. Now, you should hopefully know this is a Pythagorean triple, but that's OK if you don't. So 10 squared equals, um, let's just call it 6 squared plus h squared, where h represents the height. So therefore, I have 100 equals um, 36 plus h squared minus 36 minus 36. Oh, I'm, yeah, 64. Um, 64 equals h squared, square root, square root, h equals 8. Where did I lose you? Because this is something we did in, in the first part of the year. Do you remember Pythagorean theorem? Here's a triangle, Pythagorean theorem. All I'm doing is applying that to h equals 8. Yeah. Does everybody follow me? Any questions, Damon? Yeah, sure. Alec, Alexandra, do you have any questions? Mm, interesting. All right, so now once we know the height and I know the area of the base, now I can go ahead and multiply them. So volume equals my area of the base, which is pi 3 squared is 9, times 8. And then what I'll simply do is I'll just go ahead and take all of this information And I'll multiply it in my calculator. So I'll do pi times 9 times 8. And I get 226.2 um, rounded to the tenth. Volume equals 226.2. And then I didn't write down what our dimensions. What was the dimensions for this problem, Jessica? Jessica, what was the dimensions? In your homework, what was the dimensions? I know, the units, sorry, not the dimensions. What were the units? Oh, yards. Yards. So therefore, since we're dealing with volume, that's going to be yards cubed. OK? Oscar, any questions? 